All right, this is a video on how to install the Easy Worship database that is queued or keyed to the Sing to the Lord. Uh, you can see here that on my screen that I've got Easy Worship open, and you can see that it is keyed to the numbers on the Sing to the Lord thing. So if somebody says we want to sing 129, uh, there's, uh, or the REM 128, I typed 128, uh, that beautiful name. All right, I can click 128 and I can have that in just a couple of seconds. So that's the idea. Here's how we're going to, to create this. I'm going to go to Profiles inside Easy Worship. I'm going to go to Profiles Manager and I'm going to create a new profile. You can call it whatever you want. I'm going to call it Test 7. All right, because I don't want to create, I've already got one that works. I don't want to mess it up, but I'll show you how to do it. All right, so test seven is what I'm calling it. You can call it your church name or whatever. Um, and then I'm going to, uh, I'm going to close this and I'm going to, uh, it's going to ask me, do you want to install the default Easy Worship demo data? And I'm going to say no. I'm going to say cancel. Okay, so then I'm going to close Easy Worship. All right. Now, when I close Easy Worship, it's going to, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to get the database download that you downloaded from me. Um, and when you go into the zip file, you're going to see this button right here, Extract All. You can say Extract, and I'm going to put it on my desktop. All right, so let's go there and I'll say Extract, and it'll extract it. I've already done it once, so uh, it's already there. All right, so I'm going to go to that databases folder. Here it is on my on my um, on my desktop, I'm going to copy that folder, and I'm going to go over to this pathway right here. You can get a, sh a shortcut to this pathway by clicking it inside Easy Worship, which I'll show you in a minute. But you want to go to Local Disk, Users, Public, Public Documents, Soft Touch, Easy Worship, and then whatever you called it. For me, it was Test Seven, if you recall. So I'm going to go to Test Seven or whatever your name is, your folder name is. And then I'm going to go inside v6.1, all right? So I'm going to now paste um, that databases folder. I'm going to paste the databases folder inside here. It's going to say, this already has 17 files with the same names. Do you want to replace them? Yes, I do. I want to replace them, okay? And now it replaced uh, the, fo the, the folder. I'm going to reopen Easy Worship. And it will pop up, and this is test seven, and it is waiting. It's taken a second for it to do here. It must be pulling up some of the. It's not responding. Hang on, there we go. All right, so it took it a second to respond. Uh, I tried to turn off the live feature, and it took a second to respond. Now you can see, we have all of those those songs here. All right. So um, if you already have, um, you know, other kinds of data in there, such as backgrounds or anything like that, or things you want to keep, you do have to be careful. That's the reason I recommend creating a new uh, profile, a new uh, profile to do this with. And then you can simply import any other uh, things that you want from your other profile. You go out to your other profiles. Here's my default. I can go to resources and copy all my videos, all my audio, images, presentations. I can copy all of those and put it into my new test seven here under resources. You see that right there. All right. So now if you say, well, where is that file again? Where's that pathway? If you're under profile right here, you see where it says instance location. If you click that, it is a shortcut to get you directly to um, test seven, as you see right here. So it takes me directly to, to my test seven uh, instance. Now, um, once you're there, I'm going to change back to my default um, my default uh, profile because I have uh, all my media and everything in there. I want to be able to already have those things. Uh, have those things. So that's how I do it, and uh, hopefully that's helpful to you. If you have questions, don't talk to me. <laughs> um, now hopefully that will give you a, a clear thing. There's also, of course, easy worship documentation. Um, but if you don't know what I'm talking about, if you don't know what a zip file is, you don't know uh, how to do what, how to access what I'm talking about, find somebody at your church who does, all right? Because I don't want you to be have this messed up, especially, and you definitely want to test it before the time. Also, there are a few things in that database that you will want to correct, such as some misspellings of father in the readings. It's, they come up as farther, so you want to correct those. All right, thanks.